Asagoli. Greetings in Oneida. Nadio Lewis. Greetings. What is the news? It's going to go, guys. It's going to go. In Oneida, it says, are you with peace? I am with peace. Happy week six, people. You made it through this semester. Well done. AIS-119. Grateful to learn from you throughout this whole semester. It's been an honor. It's been a privilege. And it has been my responsibility to share my own culture with you and to share, to learn from your, you all, sharing your culture and your identities and your idea, ideas with me. Thank you very much for that. I say to you all, Ya Wan Ko, thank you in Oneida. Gia Gwich, thank you in Irish German. Danke Shane, thanks in German. Thanks in English. I appreciate y'all very, very much, people. Y'all are human beings who are worthy of love. Going through here for week six, our final here. So you still have your, your weekly discussions for group me, still have the Canvas weekly response. And then also going to have your final exam, which is a 1.30 to two minute, either podcast video or social media video you all create. You can create a TikTok, a YouTube, an Instagram video, whatever it is, on up to three concepts related, related to the class. Could be one concept, could be two, could be three. And it could be from the class itself or related to the course you want to bring into the course and educate us more about it. We just talked briefly about it. A lot of these things we're just touching the surface with, and you could get a you could major in or minor in a lot of the different things we're going to talk about here in this class for the different different topics and ideas. So I encourage you, there's so many more classes you could take. If you're interested in these classes, do please educate, continue to educate yourself more. You can reach out to Atlas, you can, which helps with your scheduling for what, what class you want to add or with your major or minor, whatever it may be. I know I had a certificate in American Indian Studies. I'm really grateful that I did during my master in public administration at the beach. Go beach. All right, people, reading the abstract conclusion and skimming of rethinking environmental racism, white privilege, and urban development in Southern California. Really pay attention to the charts and graphs in this one here, if nothing else. And then going along here, you're watching this video, video now. This next video here, it's My Vote Don't Count, looking again about music videos, power of music, whatever, however you vote, whatever your, your affiliation is politically, whatever it may be, or however you may feel, uh, really what the key to take away for this video is, is the different branches of government, how they're used, and the idea how it comes down to you and me, comes down to us, people, human beings, who are uh, putting people into office and making decisions and how um, it's important, it's our responsibility kind of to take back this process, take back this, this system and to, to be aware of the different people we're putting in office and particularly for our legislative branch, the people who are making the laws themselves and either being them, being getting into those positions or the, uh, you know, we as a people choosing who we wanna have in those positions representing us. Their job is to represent us. We need to remind them of that. This Childish Gambino feels like summer. It's an amazing jam and it's a great hit. And did you know that it's also about global warming? Do you know that it's also about the environment being changed? About uh, So really listen to, listen to the lyrics, watch the words there across the screen and talk, listen to how it can really be about this notion of, as we talk about environment, environmental racism, about how we treat the environment, how we treat our planet as well too. So we'll learn more about what is environmental racism, how in 2020, the summer social unrest highlights environmental racism in the US, climates of change, how to vote against environmental racism, the Navajo water lady, this woman who brings water on the Navajo reservation uh, to people who many people, approximately a third to a fourth of the people on the Navajo reservation, the Diné, which is comprised in Arizona, New Mexico, uh, do not have access to running water or electricity. And that's here in the United States as well, too, this uh, this level of poverty. For those who love the show Avatar, The Last Airbender, the cartoon, here's some real life Avatar influences from the different cultures. And I would call it cultural appreciation of learning from the different cultures and highlighting these and bringing it together. Looking at the And how do, how do you highlight and showcase those and share those with others? This one, a trip to the grocery store, how people can use privilege and how we, how we can uh, deconstruct race, but also and also use our privilege to help and support one another when we have those different opportunities. Refugee, kid, refugee kids are, they share their struggles of coming to the US. And Ruby Bridges, one of the people who helped, uh, she was one of the first students when the schools were segregated to uh, and being who was brought into the schools. She tells her story about, and she talks about how racism is a grown up disease, and how we need to cure it. And I think it's a powerful final note for us to talk about and finish up on a class. So, Again, you upload the, the your Canvas discussion, your final exam, to either podcast video or social media video, 1.30 to two minutes. Uh, want to know what you believe and why. Truth has no fear from investigation. Doesn't Don't have to agree with everything I said or what someone else has said or what we've read about or what you've watched. In fact, I think that the most powerful thing you can do is you go to a university you go to, is to think differently. Think for yourself. I, think I encourage you to do so. And I want to learn from you and your perspective as well, too. So please share that. If you have any questions, do reach out to me, people. So this is our this is the swan song so far, people. We're on the last one. Looking here at that that chapter there about rethinking environmental racism. One of the chat the charts here. This is from uh, the early two thousands as well too. I believe two thousand two, and it's looking. This is from even from nineteen eighty seven. This this one the specific chart right here, and it's looking at the number of uncontrolled toxic waste sites in Hispanic populations in Los Angeles. So basically, the darker the shading here would be the higher the Hispanic population in those regions. And then the, lo the less shade would be the less Hispanic population. So you can see in areas where there's almost no Hispanic population, there might be one or none for his uncontrolled toxic waste sites, maybe two at most, three. 
Um, and then for some of these communities here, once you start having a higher Hispanic population, that number starts going up to six, to eight, to 11 in one area as well too. And a similar chart right here of toxic release inventories in non-Hispanic white populations. The areas are uh, with European Americans or white population is, is white and those of um, Hispanic populations would be in the darker shades. So you see the darker the kind of the, the darker shaded regions are, are filled with these toxic release inventory charts. And this is from 1995. And again, so you can think about how much more has been done since then in the development of different eras of different things. So that's where we're at right now. I'd like to share with you all one last idea. What, what's something I'd like to do when I finish off my classes is share this, this graphic novel. It's, it's from a, an excerpt of this graphic novel called Echo. Um, so I'll, I'll share it right here. And, Echo is, it's about this Maya Lopez and she is deaf and it's created by this Cherokee artist, David Mack. It's, there's also a, on Disney plus, there's a, a show about it. I always loved the original material. So I'm a huge fan of graphic novels. And this one always pulls my heartstrings. So I want to share this with y'all in our time together. It's just, just some excerpts from this as well too. So this is Maya Lopez here. And Maya says, later on, when I realized there is this thing called sound, I will ask my father all kinds of questions like, what does laughter sound like? What sound does grass make? When I hear that rain makes a sound, I will ask, what sound do the clouds make? Does the sunshine make a noise? What does the rainbow sound like? When I ask him these questions, it makes him laugh and cry at the same time. And then I ask what that sounds like. On the way home, I'm retelling the chief stories to my father. Now I begin to understand the ideas behind the storytelling. I tell my father that I will be a storyteller too. He laughs and says that I already am. But I say that I must learn my own language to tell my stories, more than signs, more than sounds, more than words. Pass on my stories to the, my own medium like the comic book artist so that you can understand, even if you don't hear like me, even if you don't know what sound clouds make, you could feel my stories. And finally, and last but not least, people I wanna share with you all this song and it's a student song, and I learned it when I was on the American Indian Student Council, a student at Cal State Long Beach, otherwise referred to as Cal State Pavangna, as we are on the sacred site of the Gabrielino Tongva, their gathering place, part of their creation story. And the song, it translates in the Lakota language. It was given by this drum called Elk's Whistle, which is, is written in Lakota by an intertribal drum. One of my cousins I found out was on that drum as well, too. And the song goes, it translates to students. The people are anxious and excited to see what you will do with your education. Go forth and work hard for them. So let's sing it right here together. Hey ho, hey ho, ti he ti awa. Hey ho, te he go ski awa hi e lo e o. Ta ko ta peke wana wane ti e ti awa. Hey ho, hey ho, ti he ti awa. Oh ya te. Students, the people are anxious and excited to see what you will do with your education. Go forth and work hard for them. All right, people, in Oneida, one last time. Yal wan ko gunalukwa onugiwa means thank you. I love you. Until next time, appreciate y'all very, very much. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. If ain't nobody loves you, Dr. Reed loves you. Have a great day. Take care. Thanks for a great semester. Reach out with any questions. If you ever need a lot of recommendation, don't be a stranger. Have a great day, everybody. Much love.